after crawling limbless across the desert. Eating animal corpses to survive. Enduring its generous heat and acquiring limbs. Braving feral hordes of cannibal tribes for vital building materials. Most likely stolen from their communally consumed victims. Using said building materials to build a tiny base and having said base stolen because I'm dumb and I thought I could keep it from getting stolen somehow by some outlaw losers which I could not because I'm under the floorboards of the food chain literally leaving the base and making it back through the desert Freak Bug monster Ha 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 What a freak All the way to the border which separates two giant warring factions of the continent and into another desert known as the Deadlands, a gloomy place plagued by constant acid rainfall and outcast killer machines with no purpose. The perfect place for an acid immune freak such as Lean Bean. After starting up again somewhere else, something incredible happens for a misshapen friend. Pretty much like when you get extra nuggets in your McDonald's 10 piece nuggy meal and there are no less than 12 nugs in that bad boy, and them shits is actually fresh somehow at 12.40 p.m. What I'm trying to say is, sometimes good things happen to bad people, and the molding of their psyche afterwards is just absolutely disastrous going forward. Upon entering that old robotics factory, Lean Bean was taken aback by all these strange, loud, buzzing machines, all springing to life at once, like barkeepers eagerly greeting wealthy and thirsty travelers, the skeletons had labeled him master. They were now soul bound, like a deal with the devil. It was non-negotiable. He was just lucky they didn't tear him apart like a pack of bone dogs when he intruded in their place of rest. So now, in the span of a few moments, Lean Bean went from worthless desert dreg to warlord and master. Before I start the rest of the video, I wanted to mention two things first. Include the mod list for this playthrough because I completely forgot to show and mention it in the last video. Though you can obviously see I have the Genesis map installed for ease of navigation, I have about three other mods installed and active. Everybody hates you. More combat animations. The Iron Man mod to prevent saves coming. And of course, the Bedrock Bottom start. As you can probably guess, no hidden XP mods or anything like that, just pure vanilla Kenshi. And since I just have Lean Bean right now, it's pretty easy to focus on him and get his stats to where they need to be anyway. And the other thing is, holy shit, at the time of writing this, the first Kenshi video is at 5.5k views. And my lord, that video is now the best performing one on my channel after 3 years of making content. Self-taught, by the way. I know that number isn't massive in the grand scheme of things, but I appreciate just how many people left wonderful comments. You guys are a bunch of fucking sweethearts down there in the comments. It's nothing crazy, but to see something I made be enjoyed in the manner that it was is just amazing to me, and it's the reason I like making videos. But anyway, I've tried to make a Kenshi video like two times. This being the third attempt over the years, and I'm glad I stuck with it because this is my first real narrate over footage style of video and to see it so well received is just amazing and that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank you kind strangers on the internet and I hope you enjoy where Lean Bean's story takes you. It is literally the workshop where all of the freaking robots follow you at. These are basically free companions, but they're not very controllable. Their main issue is that they will attack anything they see. Shopkeepers, random travelers, anything that isn't you. 
So I guess that is absolutely perfect for a run in which everyone hates me. Well, here we are. I have one hell of an army with me and the doors just kind of flew open here. I need to figure out the easiest way to get myself some, uh, some building materials. They'll protect me for 41,000 days and 6 hours. Well, I definitely don't want to uh, squander that time at all. So, we gotta figure out how to get some building materials. Oh, hell yeah. And then... Oh, look at that. Straight up building materials. Oh wow, a edge type 1 weapon. Just chilling here. A single copper. That's kind of a kick in the balls. Alright. With another spider down, that actually gives me the ability to make... A st iron refinery. So, currently have infinite iron plates now that I can build this. Business will be booming soon. Let's go get some food, fellas. I am getting quite famished. I guess they're running off that way to fight. What the hell are they fighting? Ninjas. Alright, I think I'm going to take the time to get these guys a little bit stronger because they have some shitty weapons. Like some impressively shitty weapons. And these ninjas here have some pretty impressively okay weapons. I love these guys so much. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. What the fuck? We got fat building material here. Uh, a skeleton repair kit? Damn. There we go. Nice. I was getting worried. It takes a lot to repair all these guys. Man, look at that. Another repair kit. I'm about to come up. Getting these guys to carry stuff for me is really good, but figuring out which one I gave what to is a huge pain. Time to finish the stone mine, and we're about to be cranking out building materials. Night. There's like no patrols out here. I don't think there are any bandits, so... Oh. Oh, literally, just as I say that, those are actual fucking slavers walking through here. I did not think I would see that. We're like near the gray desert, but I didn't think they wandered in here. They're literally dying in the rain. Look at them, they're literally almost dead from the rain. You know what? Since this is a good opportunity to get a backpack, I could get a few backpacks. I can use that to figure out which of my skeleton minions are carrying the gear I need. So I'm just gonna wait for these guys to get a little more separated. There we go. Easy. Easy. Oh, there they go. They are fucking bloodthirsty against these iron spiders. Oh damn, they took it out pretty quick. Since I can't run very fast anyway, it's pretty much impossible to get separated from these guys because they are much faster than me. Boom. Alright, now I can sit here and crank out some building materials without <laughs> without getting fucking attacked and harassed. Damn, I mined that stone fast as fuck. Look at this! When Lean Bean hungered, his companions hunted and he was fed. When he was threatened, his interlopers were destroyed. He was safe. Lean Bean was learning that the death that passively occurred around him was much better than being treated as a reject. The same mouse that spouted insults could easily lie still and agape not moments later. He started to realize that the world is fragile and life was fickle. When his army was worn and battered, he repaired them and fitted them with the tools of his fallen enemies so they could yet make more fall. Now in a much more isolated area, he would be safe to build an actual safe haven for himself and his new friends. So he went back to work, but this time 
No meager outlaws would run him out of his humble lair. Alright. When you're the most hated man on the planet, it helps to live somewhere unconventional. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. The lady wants decent food and that's what we're gonna get her. <laughs> They're standing there gawking. Getting cooked in acid. This shizzle better have a decent load. Should hello. What shining hole do you think you just crawled out of? Come haha. No shit. Looks pretty decent to me. Maybe we should move in. Nah. Once a shithole or always a shithole. I ain't made for luxury. Are we gonna float here yakin? Or are we gonna see what's inside? Alright. Go! Alright, go, and they slowly swim. Just gonna sit here and let these bad boys marinate. They're marinating good. You pick up your palette knife and then work that into meat. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's kind of sad. They're all like, all right, you win. We'll just sit here and cook. Oh, I don't feel bad for these guys, actually. They deserve a fate worse than this. If I had a peeler machine and the murderer of my family and cat was in front of me and there was one black dragon ninja, I would throw the black dragon ninja in there without a hesitation. Oh, is someone at negative 10 on everything? <laughs> Bandit raid to acid bathhouse has failed. Status cooking. The game just breaks when you build out on the water. I'm surprised it lets you put any structures out in the water in the first place. Oh yeah, I still have the slight issue of enemy hunt. Dude, with all the robots running under me, it looks like it's bubbling. Imagine just raid after raid, the water, the lake here just gets redder and redder. <laughs> Hiding away behind the safety of your walls, bastard. But I haven't had my fun with you yet, enemy. I expect a good battle from you. Let me show you the might of the church. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it! Try not to go blind from the lightning in the... Deadlands challenge. Alright. Go. I only need two building materials to finish this thing. Alright, an actual home. Nice. His hard work was beginning to pay off. One step after the other, Lean Bean was making progress. And worthwhile progress at that. But he could only do so much with the basic materials provided. He pondered the strange books he collected. They had pictures of lightning giving life to strange objects, like the lights in the cities he was exiled from, tools and instructions to make alien and wondrous things. These foreign concepts came naturally to Lean Bean, like a plant absorbing sunlight. But the safety of the murderous Deadlands would not afford him everything he needed. He looked into the desert and saw lights. Lights, he thought. I will take them. And so he ordered his metal army to pillage. And pillage they did. caught stealing no 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 I'm looting the difference being I'm taking it by force oh. 
Let's see what's up in here. Oh, a shopkeeper with no backpack. That sucks. Well, sir, I have bad news for you. I'm not necessarily here to buy. I'm here to cut you into pieces. Give me your shit. Hey, look at that. Tools to break into the safe. Two sets of tools to break into each one. Alright. Well, I might as well get to work. Oh! Holy shit, I got so many skeleton repair kits. It only took me 54 days to get a fucking real backpack. This is what I've been waiting for. Real progress. <laughs> the ball is rolling. I am picking up steam. With about three backpacks full of ransacked materials, the ruins of a successful raid, and a mountain of corpses lay behind Lean Bean's back. He felt truly alive, jittery almost, and bursting with excitement, and full of life to see his impact on the world. Nothing was more thrilling than the heat of combat, the strange and great tasting foods from the bar, the confused screams from the occupants, the blood that covered him and his cold servants as they did their magnificent work. All that was wrong in the world was made right, simply by killing. I should kill everyone, he thought, and such an idea filled him with a burning and lasting warmth. But for now, books and pages were the battle. He wanted to know them all. Learning felt better than eating for Lean Bean, and came just as natural. He wanted to fully understand the world he planned to cut apart, and so he went to work. It is the hum of progress. The hum of I'm no longer researching in the dark. Might get me some lights going. Let's see. The guy want me a ceiling fan. Oh yeah. Yeah, since I put those robots in these cages, since they lost their arms, now I can just sit there and automatically heal my bros instead of getting stuck on the one that doesn't have the arm by shaking violently because this game is beautiful. I could make fucking skeleton repair beds, and I have the two engineering research. Damn, ancient or tech level five wants fucking. Eight ancient science books. God damn. <laughs> like a hammer hit a cantaloupe. Like a lion stalks a cantaloupe. Or an antelope. I am the antipode Like a lion kills an antelope Like a hammer hits a cantaloupe This has turned into fucking RimWorld, honestly I didn't think I would have to get create so fucking creative to get resources ever in my life that's sweet. I'm gonna need some more fat materials though. More importantly, I'm gonna need some more fuel. I'm gonna fuck you up. So let's get this going like right now. Cabin somewhere else, snake. Dear diary, <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> wow. 
Oh my god. There's a fucking robotics workshop here. Holy shit, that is a robotic store. There's gonna be a mean ass skeleton in there, there defending it though. Excuse me, sir. And just like that, Lean Bean had located actual extremities. Open now was the world. The ability to hold a sword properly, to draw a crossbow with ease, to turn pages with a single attempt, to walk in a straight line with powerful metal hooves and grab danger by the throat with iron claws and claim life with cold, unrelenting hands. Bandit raid moving towards acid bathhouse. That ain't good for the black dragon retards. You know who it is. It's your boy. All black dragon ninjas should spontaneously combust into flames and die. Can't face going back to the boss empty handed again. I can hear him now. A woman needs her treasure. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, I'll give you all the treasure in the world. Hobu, they never bring me good treasure. Oh, Mackie. Well, there's only one way to find out how much food we got. Attack on you, Yahtzee, ass it hurts so bad. <laughs> Orange, you glad I didn't say nick? All I know how to do is go in there, get a lot of poo poo on my Peter, and a lot of shit on my dick from sticking it straight up their ass. Now let's go, team. <laughs> you should have learned your lesson after your last chicken. With his first Mewtwo weapon, the Black Dragon Ninja is destroyed, and a mountain of stolen goods back at home, Mean Bean spent the next month terrorizing the surrounding local area with his metal companions, becoming very renowned for his acts of cruelty. But over time their numbers dwindled, after many raids and ambushes, and on one of his attacks on the holy nation city of Stack, the Paladins cut the rest of his iron companions down barely escaping with his own life and a valuable backpack thanks to his powerful legs he ran and returned home but this time alone it was the first time in a long time he was alone he didn't really miss his old robotic friends everyone dies he thought to himself they had killed hundreds together besides the point so he sat there alone in his fortress with one thing persistent on his mind how do i acquire more of these extraordinary weapons.